I'm Bonnie Harris, and I'm a member of Richland Lutheran Church. As Christians, our great precious joy is Jesus Christ, who died for our sins and who rose from the dead. Easter is our time of rejoicing and gratitude and love for our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has shown us by his example how to live on earth, how to treat our fellow man, how to spread God's word, and who has promised us eternal life through him. Lent is the 40-day period leading up to Easter. This is a special time to focus on Jesus' love and his sacrifice for us. There are so many Bible verses that I love, but one of my favorites is John 15, 12. Love one another as I have loved you. I have a book about Mother Teresa entitled In My Own Words. This book tells about her journey to Jesus. Mother Teresa started the ministries, the Missionaries of Charity in Calcutta in 1950. Their mission statement is based on Matthew 25, verses 35 through 36. I was hungry and you gave me food. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. The main part of this book is full of her anecdotes and messages to those involved in her work, her co-workers, her sisters, and civic-minded groups eager to hear the words of, of a person who lives the challenge that she presents to others. All she has done in her own words was to follow Jesus, to follow his word. She was one of those rare people who took Jesus at his word. In Matthew 25:40. Jesus said, Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Mother Teresa completely gave her life to Jesus, and he worked through her, showing his love and compassion to others through her. A magazine had described her as a living saint, and she said, If someone sees God in me, I'm happy. I love John 8:12, where Jesus tells us, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. One of my favorite hymns is, Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. Jesus is the light of the world. And what greater thing can we do but to open our hearts and minds to Him and let His light shine through us? Jesus tells us in Matthew 5:16, Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your Father who is in heaven. Uh, I was going to talk about something else also, but I just wanted to say before I move on that in this book, uh, Mother Teresa in her own words, I was going to just put a few stickers of some of the things that she said and then I looked at the book and there were all these stickers and I thought, no, I have to, I have to narrow it down. And so I went through it and I, and I ended up uh, picking uh, four things that she said in her own words. One of them says, I believe that politicians spend too little time on their knees. I am convinced that they would be better politicians if they were to do so. Another quote from her is, The apostles did not know how to pray, and they asked Jesus to teach them. He then taught them, Our Father. I think that every time we say the Our Father, God looks at his hands where we are etched. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Isaiah 49:16. What a beautiful description and also expressive of the personal love God feels for each one of us. Another one is, do not be afraid of loving to the point of sacrifice until it hurts. Jesus' love for us led him to his death. And then the last one, God has created us so we do small things with great love. I believe in that great love that comes or should come from the heart. Should it start at home, with my family, my neighbors across the street, those right next door, 
and this love should then reach everyone. She just was so inspirational to me, and I wanted to share that with you. There was a New York Fire Department chaplain named Michael Judge who died in the World Trade Center attack and who carried a prayer in his pocket. I saw this prayer in the paper which said it was affectionately known to firemen as Michael's Prayer. And it, and it went like this, Lord, take me where you want me to go. Let me meet who you want me to meet. Tell me what you want me to say and keep me out of your way. I was so moved by this prayer, how beautiful and wonderful it was to see how God worked through him. I cut it out and I keep it in my wallet and I pray it every day. During this time of Lent, when we focus on Jesus and all he did for us, what greater gift can we give him but to open our hearts and minds and pray that he will work through us and that we will let him work through us and that we will keep out of his way by giving him our full attention, by listening and praying. My prayer is from the, I found it in the Luther Seminary Lenten Devotional, and it's called, Jesus, Keep Me Near the Cross. Let's pray. God of the sun and moon, the hills and mountains, the oceans where the universe connects, even in our dry spaces, thank you for your presence. Help us remember who you are, that our destiny is in you, and that you are with us on this journey. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.